Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have this really awesome Triple Beast Bast Bounce List. And triple because you can play Absorbing Man onto your Beast or your Falcon uh, to after those cards to basically gain the bounce effect again. If you play Beast, bounce your cards and you play Absorbing Man on another lane or on your Beast, you can actually quadruple bounce. I should rename this list to Infinity Bounce list, because you can, in theory, play your Absorbing Man, bounce your Beast, play your Beast on the Absorbing Man, bounce your Absorbing Man, bounce your, b b play your b Absorbing Man onto Beast, bouncing it again, and you, you, could, you could, in theory, <laughs> infinitively, infinitely, infinitely bounce your cards, losing all of your cubes, but it's just for naming, right? So, yeah, uh, with this list, you have so much fun. Uh, it's insane. If you are prioritizing getting cubes and winning games, you should not play this list. Let's be honest. You should play something like Shuri Red Skull or maybe Ramp uh, Sandman. Or if you are one of the lucky few humans on this planet, you can play Thanos or some other lists that are proven to work, that are consistent and strong. But if you want to have fun, if you're a player that just enjoys having fun in this game, which is very legitimate, right? You can play games to have fun. You can play this list. And this list is insanely fun. It is not very consistent. It is not winning every single game. But you can have a lot of fun with it, trust me. So before we get into the deck explanation, let me ask you to subscribe very nicely and firmly. Push the button now, please. Thank you, kind sir. That's uh, the handshake you received from me. And with that being said, let's get right into explaining this deck. So for me, there are three ways this deck plays out, right? First, you draw Hood and some other one-drop value cards in your opener. Great. If you have Bast, of course you set Hood's power to free, which makes an insane card. And you play a an Iceman, and then you hopefully draw some Bounce, you bounce all of those cards in your hand. You generate a lot of value. Bast has lost kind of its value, but you, it doesn't matter because you want to play Hood again, granting yourself a second demon. And then if you have Falcon, you want to bounce him again, granting yourself another demon because Hood is already free. Uh, you see where this is going. So uh, the demon focus road. And then in the last turn, you can drop like four or five demons, swarm the board, generate insane amount of power and that is the hood and beast uh, uh, demon centered player where you can go down right second strategy you can go for is the angela road or angela bishop road right so what that means is you aim for a lot of power very early on after you have developed your uh, scaling units. You drop Angela in one lane, you drop Bishop in another, you can combine them in one lane, you can play Angela and Bishop in the same lane and then drop something on the lane such as Rocket Raccoon and Adam Warlock granting you a lot of card draw for the later turns. You might think that the lane is locked but it's actually not that locked because you can play Falcon in another lane, bounce your Rocket Raccoon uh, freeing up space in that already filled scaling location, enabling you to drop a wolf spain in there. That's another seven power, uh, and yeah, that should just guarantee card draw and just securing one lane indefinitely. Um, so that's the second line of play you can go for. The third way you can actually play this deck is to spread your cards a little bit, and then. As your locations are filled towards the end, you can uh, you 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 want to aim for Wolf Spain uh, with free with one slot open, and then Beast afterwards. But you want to play them in the same turn, so that's turn five, right? So that means Wolf Spain will get the full benefit, will get bounced back to your hand. She will cost less now. It's only two for a two seven uh, power Wolf Spain. And you can combine Wolfsbane and Absorbing Man in the same turn afterwards. So that's that will be a combined power play of 6 energy, but it will generate 
enormous amounts of power. So those are the three kind of things uh, you can do with this deck. An interesting thing to mention, Nightcrawler can get into lanes that are hard to get into, but I think you guys already know that. And without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. All right, Beautiful Pants! <laughs> what a great name is our first opponent. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? This has to be the best opening for us that is possible. This is insane. Um... Of course we go for uh, the full nuts play on turn one. We snap, we go into this. I think if we are not against a Mr. Negative list, this, this just has to be really powerful for us. Uh, sadly, I shouldn't have snapped. I should have just played without the snap, just to show you guys the, this awesome game. Sadly, I messed up here. Uh, but uh, let's just jump right into the next game and hopefully we get some some nice uh, action going. All right, our next opponent is Bike Tor. We discard. That's a really good discard for us. Uh, there is only one play here. Luckily, we catch something with our Rocket Raccoon. That means he. Grows to 4 power, which is really strong for a 2-drop. Alright, so this game we will prepare for the quintuple bounce. So what do we do? We play Beast here, bouncing the Raccoon. Next turn we can play Raccoon and Falcon in the lane. Actually, we want to play Falcon now. Because this will enable us to play Beast. Oh my goodness. Alright, so what we want to do is play these cards now. This will enable us to play Absorbing Man. Onto the Falcon. What is this doing? If we play Beast last, we can double up the Beast effect. Yeah, this is... And then we can bounce all of our bounces again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... This is... This has to be the play. This has to be the play. Yes! Our opponent plays into the Sokovia again, which means our rat will have... Six power now, uh, which he will keep forever. We get a demon, we bounce everything back. Falcon is for free now. Everything is for free now. <laughs> and that means we can bounce our beast again. Play another hood into another falcon. And we can even try to buff up our Rocket Raccoon more. <laughs> Alright, we buff up the Raccoon more! This this Raccoon will have 10 power by the end of this game. Alright, we get the Beast back in our hand. So the Beast is costing nothing. The Demon is for free. We bounce Hood and the Raccoon again. Oh my goodness, this this game is insane. All right, so what do we want to do now? Let's think about this. We don't mind Bishop getting buffed. So what is the play here? I think we want to play Hood and get another Demon. We want to drop Bishop somewhere where he can impact the game a lot. So, let's aim to secure this lane. Um, okay, so what do we want to do now? Now we want to play Hood and Beast here. 
so that means he will bounce these three cards so that means past is now safe to play no it's actually not safe to play because our demon will get reduced in power so we will leave out the best. I had too little time to think about all of this, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't even care what our opponent is doing right now. <laughs> Magneto coming down, no one cares. We just don't care. All right. So, oh my God, this game is insane. All right, so we should win this. <laughs> This lane. Um, we have Wolf Spain Absorbing Man combo, and our opponent knows his place. Our opponent knows his place. He sees the giant furry nuts of the Rocket Raccoon. He was so intimidated by this eight power raccoon that he just had to forfeit this game. This would have been insane, right? We play, we play Bast Demon. It doesn't matter. We fill one lane. We play Wolf Spain onto that lane. She receives like seven power. We play Absorbing Man into another lane. He also receives the buff. He can even play Hood into the Mojo world. Here, just to fill it up, our opponent will not have more than four cards. Yeah, this this last turn would have been absolutely nuts. And yeah, this, this game actually shows off why this deck is so much fun. It, it, we, we bounced like five times. We have like three demons already. Uh, yeah, we could have focused more on the demons, but I mean, who cares? I mean, look at this raccoon, 8 power, it's insane. 